In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix CPU bottlenecking while gaming on your PC and how to increase your GPU usage and get max performance out of your any low-end or a high-end PC or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, so please make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and make sure to follow this complete guide because it will take your PC onto the next level if you are gamers. So make sure to watch this whole video and without wasting any time, let's straight jump into over this video. So guys, in the first step, you have to download some applications on your PC for the optimization of your CPU. So open up the link from description and that will take you onto my this website. Once you are here, you need to go for the search bar and simply search here pro says and press enter and here you will find out this application process lasso simply open up this application and also open up this article which is the how to optimize cpu for gaming in 2023 and here you need to scroll down click on this download button and download this application on your pc once you download it now go for this next step and here guys you will find out a complete article for the optimization of your pc so you can simply read this article and follow the same exact guide on your pc also so we are going to do this later so in the first step you need to simply open up this application which you have downloaded from a website double tap here click ok i agree click next install and install this application on your pc this is the one of the best application for your cpu optimization and i'm also using another application which is the power control you can also download it from a website uh, simply search for the power control and you will find out the same exact application simply install it and use the same exact settings for getting the best and high performance power plan on your pc now hit apply and click ok and this application will keep running in your background so here is our main application which we are using for fixing this problem so here guys you need to go for this main option go for the active power profile and set it on to the bit some highest performance now again go on to this option and here you will find out pro balance enable so you need to simply uncheck this box and check mark on to the performance mode enable for getting the max performance so now simply set it on to the performance and once you are done with the settings now you need to go for the next step and in this step guys you need to launch your specific game in which you are getting the uh, cpu bottlenecking so for example i want to optimize my fortnite with my cpu so you need to launch the fortnite on your pc so once you launch the fortnite on your pc now you need to go into this active process tab and simply click on the cpu button and here it will bring the fortnite on the top because it is using our max cpu so you need to right click here go for the cpu priority go for the always and set it on to the high if you have a good pc and if you have a normal pc so go with above normal for the best performance out of your cpu so i'm going with the high because i have a good cpu now you need to go for the cpu affinity go for always and make sure to guys select all of your cpu from this list now go for the next option which is the input and the output priority go for always and again set it on to the high for the lowest amount of the input delay then guys next here we got application power profile make sure to also set it on to the a bit some high performance click ok again go into this option and then next here we got uh, another option which is the more and here inside here we'll find out multiple options like trim memory keep running or restart disable ideal saver and exclude from the start frame so you need to disable the ideal saver because we not want to save over uh, gp performance and over cp performance and that's causing the bottlenecking so guys once you're done with the settings now you need to simply minimize this application or simply close and this will also keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc and now you can simply close out fortnite from your pc now guys in the next step i'm gonna show you some settings for your pc for your windows so you need to go straight into your window settings make sure to turn on the game mode on your pc and turn off the xbox game bar Go for your home option, go in the system option and inside here guys make sure to always use the recommended resolution on your PC. Now go into the graphic settings and if you are getting the low amount of GP usage or the GP button lacking so you need to go for the hardware accelerated GP scheduling make sure to turn it on. Turn on the variable refresh rate. Now go for the browse option and add here your favorite game in which you are getting the CPU button lacking. So guys go for the browse option select out your Fortnite add it here in this list go for the option and set it onto the high performance and then hit save. Now close out this window settings and now right click on your this window star icon and go for the device manager. 
once you are here you need to scroll all the way down find out the system device just click on this drop down scroll all the way down and make sure to disable the high precision event timer because this is also one of the reason you are getting the cpu button lagging and i got a huge improvement after disabling this device or this driver now close out device manager and now one time you need to restart your pc then launch it back and guys then you will get instant performance out of your cpu in any game and guys also enjoy the gameplay after the complete optimization of my pc in fortnite with directx 12.